everybody, welcome back to Minecraft with John. Yes, me. Yes, yes, John. So off camera, I've done a little bit of crafting, as you can see. Let's go reposition this so it's in a better angle. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm making the crusher. Now this is a multi-block, and it's going to take a while. So uh, it's going to be a bit different. This is from... Um, i going to stop. Uh, can I... How do we? Oh, this I is it, weird. Turn it on. I swear there's a wave. Anyway. Anyway, it's usually not that fast either. So what we want to do is set lay this out in uh, layer by layer this way. I'm also going to need my hammer. Where is my hammer? Do we have one in here? It's really hard to see. I like how we're running the quarry. The quarry's finished. <laughs> so it wasn't taking any power anyway. Want the engineer's hammer, and that's almost out of, uh, out of durability, but that's fine. All right, well, that's so finished. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna go fix that whole ordeal. That. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start laying this out. Uh, hopefully, I lay it out in the right way. So, what is it? It is three, yep. three by f one, two, three, four, five. Three by five. All right, so one, two, three. And then we get the scaffolding. I'm going to just put a bunch of this stuff in my hopper. Don't need that right now. And now we'll get my new book of engineering, engineer's manual. All right. So <clears throat> then it's three of you, two of you. Not like that. It is like this. And then one there. And then the next two are. Just steel scaffolding. Three, one, and two, three. Cool. That's all done. <clears throat> then the next layer is engineering blocks. One, two, three. Then I'm pretty sure it's like this steel, like this with, is it the redstone engineering block in the center? No, it's just another another light engineer block in the center with the redstone engineering block here and the last one of you there. And now I'm pretty sure it's just all nine hoppers facing down on top of these ones. Like this. And then we go grab our hammer and then we just whack this one of these blocks. That block. There we go. That's looking pretty awesome, if you ask me. All right, so now we're going to work out where the input, output, and everything is. This looks like this is the output. So what we're going to do is then put the interface here. Then we're going to hook that up in a bit. <coughs> and this looks like the power goes into this block. That's what it looks like to me. Don't know about you guys, but that's uh, it's the... That's the gist I get. Wow, that's very odd. The hell? Oh, it's already linked. That's interesting. Ah! I found the where the end portal is in this world. What do you know? I don't know. Oh. How do these work again? They're, they're acting really funky. All right. You are going in there. Uh, I just want to link it to this. Back to Maggie. Link, linked. How do these power cell cards work here? Uh, so you link it to one. Oh, that's done. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah cool. Maybe that doesn't link up there. Does it link up on top? Yeah, okay, that's 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 the problem. Yeah, you link the top. Don't put the link. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Where I'm trying to link it to. Okay, cool. Now this has got RF. This is good. This is good. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to drop the stuff in the top, and then it processes it. So we're going to have to probably get a redstone signal. I'm just going to get a lever. Cool. 
got myself a liver and just place that on here and turn it on. So let's go. Don't jump in. Whew. Now what we want to do is uh, get our wool. And there's 16 wool. I'm just going to grab one. And we want to just chuck it in. And it starts doing this thing. You're powering back, by the way. And no, I you lost it, remember? No, I have, I have it. Yeah. Well, I made another one. I have, I, I have your one, but I don't have my one. I lost my well, one. Well, I chucked it in. I just made okay. another one. All right. So, did you have, a, did you have a magnet ring? By uh, chance? Did I that I lost? I believe. That's what you lost. Okay. We don't have a magnet. That's fine. I'll deal with it. Uh, so I've run cables up to like right there I so now we're fit. just going to that's no, fine yeah, just uh mine all this out this upset hill steps this thing is frustrating at sometimes and then we're going to run our cables from here to here then we want to dig them down one block that was almost unfortunate Mistakes were almost made, John. Because my pickaxe just mines too quickly. So it's like half a click. Yeah, I know. It's annoying for mine as well. So there is such thing as too efficient, Matt. Uh, I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> oh, no, it definitely is. Don't know about that, John. And there, and then we just replace our factory blocks, which I should have enough, even though I don't have to go, so I don't have to go down and get that one that fell down. You can just despawn. Now everything should be, yep, everything's getting, so anything that's gets dropped into the top of this gets crushed and then put in our system, which is what we want. Now this is why I've got the automatic dropper, which I'm just going to place right in the center there. I'm going to have to get the wrench. <laughs> <laughs> really just hoping I... Oh, I've got a wrench. That's fine. Right. How does, one, uh, how does one rotate a machine from that mod? Can I do it with a crescent hammer? Is there a chance I can do it with a crescent hammer? Probably not. Knowing my luck. What's the wrench from, uh, what's that mod called again? I've already forgotten the name of it. We just, we just went through this exact same process. I know, but... Uh, actually additions. Does actually additions have a wrench to rotate things? Huh. Looks like it's the laser wrench. What is that weird noise? I can't tell you. Is it you or me? It's not me. You're not sure what that noise was. Oh. Well, I'm sure it was nothing. Are you willing to beat your life on that? Was God, no. <laughs> Hopefully the laser wrench can rotate this thing. Uh, why am I getting radiation here, John? Right. Right. Here? I don't know where here is. Uh, look at my screen. Well, I'm not getting radiation here, so I don't know how that works. I'm like right now. Now it's got radiation. Um, yeah, so it is your machine? Yeah. Alright, so now that that's done, I ordered a crafter. I forgot the crafter. I forgot the crafter. Crafter? Cool, got the crafter. Hopefully, I'm going to turn off this machine so I don't die by accidentally falling into it. <laughs> Good, I set it up correctly, and I put away my cables. The professionalism is real here, you folks. 
Hmm. I'm so glad you agreed. I do agree. There is a little bit of lag there. I'm getting. Not sure if that's just because the internet or what. Did I on? break the last fiber cable <laughs> with a uh, pickaxe? With a pickaxe, yeah. Oh, I disconnected. Oh, that's not good. I crashed the desktop. All right, guys, we will be right back. <laughs> How? <laughs> I try to grab something out of the RS system. Never says stop. Have a wrench on me. Is there a wrench somewhere nearby? Yeah, let's make it one from here. Wrench. Wrench for industrial craft. Good enough. Yeah, I don't know why I crashed the desktop. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? You're a strange one, Mr. Grinch. Uh, shunting wire. Still trying to work that out, eh? Yep. Set my f uh, holy fella. Tony Savage posted a birthday dinner. Matt's not invited. I am invited. How else would I know about it? No, that's what that's what the message says. No, it's not. Uh, by the end of this week, I'm going to need to know who's definitely coming so I can book the table. <clears throat> okay, so this bad box isn't taking any power out. Right? That's my confusion. I know, right? No, but that's... It should be taking power out. Yeah, I know, right? At least. Like, that makes no sense. I know, right? That's what I've been saying this whole time. At Railcraft. How many wire support frames do you want to add? Are there? Uh, well, it was working with none, just the one. It was working? Yeah, I got the train to go around in circles. And then it did nothing? Yes. It just stopped? Yes. No reason whatsoever? No reason whatsoever. It went around and then ran out of power and then... You know? Huh. Okay, so my assumption is... Alright, I'm back on Minecraft, did. John. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, everybody. That was, that, was really, that was really weird. I don't know why that happened. Um, I need to get the cables out of the RS system. Got, got the cables. Good. I didn't crash trying to get cables out this time. That's always That's a good, good sign, isn't it, John? It is always a good sign. So I just need to run the cables here. Cool. Now that should be connected. That connect, that crafter is now connected. Good. Good stuff. Uh, I'll chuck them in. Chuck them in. I don't need this laser wrench, whatever it is. Speaking of, John. You always should need a laser wrench. Before I start crafting things, I'm going to go breed some more shippies. Shippies. Yeah, Who doesn't love sheep, right? Right? I love sheep. I can't teleport down. I think it's a like an issue with the program. Ooh. Mobile. You, my friend. You, my friend. And there should be another one. Ah, oh, he's, he's been sheared. Good. Yeah, I can't, I can't teleport down. I can teleport up with no problem. It's a bit odd. I don't know why. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, we've done that. Now we're going to now teach the system how to convert this stuff. I need some patterns. Luckily, there's 52 I crafted earlier. Let's grab another 64, shall we? 
for no other reason than we might need them. Now I want to find the crusher recipe, which is here. Teach it this. Cool. Done. Dusted. And then we're going to go and put you in there. Now if we want ink sacks, which we should have some system from me earlier. There is. I'm going to take them out, put the black ball in. I'm going to crest 10. It's going to turn 10 wool into 10 ink sacks. Now what we're going to do is go up here and watch all the wool. I think that was ore dictionary. Ooh, that's not good. We want, don't want that recipe to be ore dictionary. It's like the only recipe we don't want ore dictionary. So I think it's just put... Cancel. That's fine. Uh, I want to grab that out and make sure it's not ore dictionary. Because that's the only recipe we don't... Because we don't want to put in white wool in there if we want ink sacks. Which is uh, counterintuitive. We want to do not ore dictionary, put the pattern back in. Now I'll teach it. Now it's like one black wool instead of one wool. So what I actually want to do is recraft the patterns and recraft the ink sacks. In yeah, fact, I'm going to do this from over here so we can watch this happening. So we need half a stack you now. Alright, and now we want ink. Uh, 10. Start. Start. Exit. Now the black wool is falling in, and what we should see if we right click on this is that's the export. Oh, that room. Is this turned on? It's probably it's turned off. That's the problem. I now know what room you were talking to when you said you're going to build. Them. Yes. There you go. Now the uh, wool's going in, getting processed. That's probably from our white wool that we've requested. I think. That's why we're not getting ink sacks in this, this bit, because a, a bunch of white wool just dropped in. I'm going to chuck the ink sac these like, ink sacks back in, because this is going to process it all anyway. Makes quite the noise, though. Okay, so... So what we don't need is you, or you, or the engineer's book anymore. So that's uh, that's our ink machine. Okay, Matt, the feeder unit isn't getting any power. How? That's what I'm confused about, but it is a, the feeder unit has no power. That's interesting, John. Yes, uh, did you ever make a charge meter? No. Nope. That's like the probe thing, but for our craft. Oh, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look, shall we? Let's see what John's talking about. I'll give you the thing when you get down here. So maybe it's only only accepts power from one side. Yeah, take that. Yeah. And then try it on this. <laughs> Recording data over five seconds. And then I'll come up with So maybe it doesn't accept from the top. Yeah, but uh, I tried it from this side as well, and nothing. Yeah, because the bat box only outputs on the side with the red, white dot. No, but I moved it around, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I don't know. This has been really frustrating me. I don't understand, like, why it had power for a second and didn't have power. The only thing I changed was, I think, this, this shunting wire. All right, well, you, you can continue troubleshooting. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep I've, playing around with it. I've, I've had enough of the train for the time being. I'd really like it to work because I, I, I have um, the the carriages to connect to it already. Yeah. Uh, that's all. I've already tried, but I think until we work out the go, um, this is – we're going to leave it without the, the, the carriages. And I think that's a wrapping up time, John. Uh.
All right. So All right. we'll uh, see you next time. Hopefully we get the train running because I'd love to get this train running. Uh, the plan for the train is eventually to have uh, branches oh, I got off. It working. I'm not getting electrocuted though, Joe. Yeah, but look, this is what I did. Oh, I see. I took the glass cable out and just made it a direct connection. Ah, now I'm getting electrocuted. Now you get electrocuted. John got the train working. Where's the train that... though? Where's the train though? Ow. It's around oh, I put here. It on slow. Yeah, that's good because it's hard to stop when it's on fast. <laughs> yes. By the way, if you are on the tracks and this thing hits you, you die instantly. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not going to test that because it'll probably destroy the grave. I uh, shut down. All right. I'm going to uh, sign off here. You Don't die. Okay. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. Then I'm going to hook up the ch carriages and then we're going to start, well, either at the start of the next episode or uh, at the end or something. We're going to do something. All right. Yeah. Uh, but you'll see next time. I hope you're excited. Yeah, who knows? All right. Signing off. Bye, guys.